Welcome back. There are certainly a lot of health benefits when it comes to practicing yoga. Not only can it help your physical health, but it can actually help your mental health as well. There's different types of yoga and it all depends on your skill sets, your body type. On this Wellness Wednesday, we're talking about the benefits of doing yoga and how you can get started if you've never tried it before. And here to help us out is Carrie Edwards from Salt Yoga in Tulsa. And Carrie, we're so happy to have you here. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. Awesome. Um, so what kind of benefits does yoga provide? We mentioned the mental and physical benefits. Uh, can you kind of go into specifics with those? Yeah, so um, the physical benefits are probably gonna be more obvious for a beginner because to stretch and breathe and hold postures that strengthen your muscles and to elongate and just get into places that you might not have even realized were tight. Mm -hmm. That's a real eye opener. And the you know quickest way to feel better really is physically. And then you get hooked on that. And then you, hopefully it becomes a moving meditation. So that is where the mental benefits of yoga come in is ultimately it is a meditation. It's getting quiet, getting still, just doing one thing, not the distractions that we are all bombarded with every day. Yeah. So it's the quiet, hopefully. It is. And I've read that it's actually great for people who have back issues too, Absolutely. which I think is probably a lot of people out there, unfortunately. You know, we live in a very stressful time and people yeah. carry a lot of their stress in their back and to twist and wring it out like a towel and wring out that tension is, mm -hmm. you know, wonderful. So for somebody who's never tried yoga before, what would you recommend kind of jumping into a classroom setting, maybe a one-on-one -on -one session? Um, or does it just kind of depend on the person? Sure, I mean, it sometimes does depend on the person. Some people will request several private sessions just to get a little more familiar before they jump into a class. But I, I manage and teach at Salt Yoga and we welcome everyone every time. No one's staring at you, no one's laughing at you. If you're a beginner, we, we want you to be there. So yeah. once you get over that intimidation, sure, jump into a class. But there's a lot of videos online that you can get started with too. I got started like that. Really? With the television show, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. And I was thinking, yeah, probably a big hurdle for people not going is just feeling really self-conscious about yes. what people are thinking about them, but people aren't thinking about them. Yes, at and all. again, at our studio, we understand studios can be intimidating, and so it is top priority that everyone knows you are so welcome to walk in the door, and we've all been new at something at some point. Yes, so. and for yoga, I think a lot of people, when we think of it, we think of people who are super flexible, and we can turn our backs that way. I'm not very good at that because I don't practice yoga <laughs> myself. Um, so can have someone who is not as flexible, uh, like myself, yeah get to that point and how do we start getting to that point? Well, unless you have any true physical limitations or injuries, um, that's a different story. But if you just haven't stretched and you're just, it's kind of use it or lose it. So, you know, if you got to start somewhere, just move, do something. Definitely. And then again, um, would you recommend at first one-on-one -on -one to start it out? And I was, you were mentioning for salt yoga, like mm -hmm. you have on your shirt, uh -huh. uh, you start with hot yoga, which yes. if you've never tried that, that is so intense. Uh, but there's <laughs> the euphoria of it all. The sweat, the heat takes you deeper into postures. You sweat more and it just feels amazing. Mm -hmm. So. Would you recommend that though for somebody just starting out to do a hot yoga session or just a regular yoga session? It, again, it depends on the person. If it's someone who you know is you know body aware and thinks they can handle it, absolutely jump in. It's going to be hard, but mm -hmm. you learn as you go. Um, but if you, you know, safety first. So. Yes. <laughs> but always. it is challenging. But that's it's incredible. It's an incredible feeling. All right, Carrie, thank you so much. You're we welcome. appreciate you this afternoon.